we're at lesson 10.7, and we're going to estimate and measure liquid volume, and we're going to use a liter or half liter. We know that liquid volume can be measured using U.S. standard measures. An ounce, it's equal to almost two tablespoons. A cup is equal to eight ounces. A pint is equal to 16 ounces. A quart is equal to 32 ounces. And a gallon is equal to 128 ounces. So for U.S. standard liquid volume, here we've got a gallon it's equal to four quarts. Each quart is equal to two pints, and each pint is equal to two cups. So two cups equals a pint, two pints equal a quart, and four quarts equal a gallon. So that's for U.S. standard. So let's talk about metric. So liquid volume is the amount of liquid in a container. The liter, abbreviated with a capital L, is the basic metric unit for measuring liquid volume. When we pour liquid into a container, it takes the shape of the container. The liquid takes the shape of the container. And we can pour one liter of liquid into different sized containers. If it's a skinny container, maybe a tall skinny container, it will be fuller. A wide container, they're the same height, but it's wider, it'll be emptier. See? This container is wider, so it can hold more. A benchmark is a known size or amount that helps us understand a different size or amount. We can use a benchmark to compare amounts. If you know U.S. standard measures and you understand what two cups is in a container, two cups of liquid, then we can use the two cups as a benchmark for how much is in this container. An estimate is an answer that is close to the exact amount, and one liter is about four cups. If this is halfway full, and that's two cups, then this must be two cups. Two plus two is four, so the whole thing would be four cups, approximately. And one liter is about four cups. And the full container must be about one liter. And if we knew this was not two cups, but if it said half liter, we'd say, well, if that's a half, we could put the other half in, and that would be a full liter, wouldn't it? So a benchmark helps us find an amount by using amounts that we understand and know to compare. So one liter is about four cups we need to take these pictures and put them in the correct column. Less than one liter, about one liter, or more than one liter. Where do you think the bathtub would go? Do you think it's less than a liter, about a liter, or more than a liter? Remember that one liter is about four cups. If you said the bathtub is more than one liter, you're right, and we can put it in that column. Here we have a bottle of nail polish. Well, a bottle of nail polish is not very big. Do you think it's less than a liter or about a liter? Keeping in mind that a liter is four cups of liquid. If you said less than a liter, you're right. A bottle of nail polish is very small. What about this fish tank? Do you think it's less than a liter or about more than a liter? Well, if we take a look at the size of the fish, see the little goldfish? So I would think, according to the size of that goldfish, that there must be about a liter in this fishbowl. We can use what we know about the size of goldfish to help us compare it to the size of the bowl. One liter is approximately four cups. That means it's approximately two pints, or it's approximately one quart or one-fourth of a gallon. And we can use U.S. standard liquid volume measures that we already know as benchmarks to help us understand one liter. Remember, approximately means near correct. It's not exactly correct, but it's close to being correct. 
a half liter is about two cups. We need to put these pictures in the correct column. We have less than half liter, about a half liter, or more than a half liter. So do you think this container of water right here is less than a half liter, about a half liter, or more than a half liter, knowing that a half liter is about two cups? Do you think that's about two cups? Uh, I think that's a lot more than two cups. So I think that's more than a half liter. Here we have a mug of coffee. Do you think this mug of coffee is less than a half liter or about a half liter? So it's a mug of coffee, but remember a half liter is about two cups. And this mug of coffee is pretty much one cup, isn't it? A little bit more. So I would say it's less than half liter. If that's what you said, you agree with me. Here we have a water bottle and we can see the size of the water bottle by the man's hand. If that's a grown man's hand and that's the water bottle, well, there's probably about two cups of liquid in there, don't you think? So this would be about half of a liter. So remember that a half liter is about two cups in U.S. standard measure. The metric system is also known as the International System of Units. Of 195 countries, only three do not use the metric system. Myanmar, also known as Burma, the USA, and Liberia. And I believe Myanmar is talking about taking on the metric system officially. That'll only leave two countries in the whole world that don't use the metric system. So here's Myanmar, also known as Burma. Here's Liberia, this tiny little dot right here. And then the United States is the mainland right here with Alaska and it's very tiny, but Hawaii is over here. That's all part of the US. This glass pitcher if you look right here at this top black line, that's one liter for liquid volume. And this line is one quart. See how they're very close to each other? So that's why one quart is almost one liter. Now look at this glass jar and this glass jar. If this is one liter, which of these jars do you think would hold half a liter? Look at the one liter. If that's one liter, about right here would be half liter, wouldn't it? So it would probably be this jar. If you said that jar, you're right. Now look at these three glass containers. We have this big bowl, and we have this jar, and we have our liter pitcher. Which container do you think would hold more liquid? Well, if you said this big bowl, you're right. It is very big around. See how wide it is? This one is shorter than this one, so we know it's not this one. And I bet we could pour maybe two liters into this bowl. So if you said this one, you're right. The big bowl is not as tall as these are, but it's much wider around so it can hold more liquid. Which of these containers do you think will hold about the same amount of liquid? Which two? Do you think it would be this one and this one? Do you think it would be this one and this one? Do you think it would be this one and this one? Which two containers do you think would hold about the same volume of liquid? Well, if you said this one and this one, you're right. This one may be taller, but it's thinner. And this one's shorter, but it's wider. And if we pour liquid into this one, we can then pour it into this bowl to see if it holds about the same amount. Look at that they hold about the same amount. See that? 
What would happen if we took that jar and pulled, poured it into this big jar? Yeah, see? When it was in this jar, it was full, wasn't it? It was right up to this edge. And now look, it goes only up to here now. See? They have about the same width, don't they? But this one's taller. So when we took the fluid from this one and put it into this one, it didn't fill it up as much. This container holds one liter when it's filled up to the mark. We can see the mark right here. It says one liter. See that? But when we turn this around, it shows U.S. standard on the other side. Let's turn it around and look. Look at that. It says four cups, 32 ounces at the top line. But a liter is a little bit more than four cups. It's Four cups is almost a liter. See that? It's almost... One quart is almost one liter. Now there's really no difference between liquid cup of fluid and a cup of rice that's dry. So here I've got some rice in here, okay? This is one cup for a dry measure because you can take a knife and scrape off the top to make the dry measure nice and flat. And we can't do that if we put the dry rice into a liquid cup measure. This is more accurate for liquid, this is more accurate for dry because we can scrape the top off and say it's exactly one dry cup of rice. See? And for the liquid measure, we fill it to the line. Okay? So remember that one liter is about four cups in U.S. standard measure. Okay? We're going to talk about estimating and measuring mass in our next lesson. And I hope I'll see you there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.